Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I had a topic in mind that I was going to cover today as far as a paper review, but given the most recent conference that we had in this industry, I thought I'd just go over some of the papers in general that I'd recommend that everyone ought to read. A disclaimer is I'm based out of the Permian Basin, so a lot of the papers that I am going to recommend are based out of the Permian Basin. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and in professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Be sure to hit the notification bell when you subscribe because I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic, and every Sunday is a technical review, such as this video. Well. I hope you enjoy the content. The first paper I recommend everyone to read is SPE 204195. This was a paper that was written by Fracture ID and Laurier Oil and Gas, in which they talk about a case study, or they refer to their initial case study on an eight well pad. And what they ended up doing was showing how there's a lot of primary infill well interference issues and they use some fracture modeling and to run some completion sensitivities to see how to mitigate those primary infill well issues. This study is based off of Martin County in the Midland Basin. So for those of you that are from the Midland Basin or work in the Midland Basin, I would suggest that this is a good paper to read to talk about how completion sensitivities and development sensitivities can impact primary infill well relationships. The next paper I recommend everyone to read is SPE 204183. This is a workflow, which is an extremely technical paper that is written by Pressure Diagnostics Limited, Endeavor Energy Resources, and Cordax Technologies. I strongly recommend you read this book if you have some DFIT data and if you have high resolution completion data with time synchronized pressure data between primary and infill wells during completions. I said a lot, but this paper gives a thorough workflow by utilizing your DFIT data, your tow stage of your completion data, some of the fall off data you can use during complete, you can conduct using your completions data to get some insights on primary infill well interactions. Then you can develop a model based on all the data that you've collected simply from your completions data and simply from high resolution pressure data to come up with fracture dimensions. This is a easy and a free workflow that you can use on all of your wells by using some simple surveillance data such as pressure data. And I highly recommend everyone to read this paper and read this paper very carefully as to how to develop the model and to get your fracture dimensions. The next paper I recommend reading is SPE 204199. This paper talks about how you can use machine learning, artificial intelligence to develop some completion insight in the Wolf Campy of the Midland Basin. They use self-organized mapping techniques to cluster completion and reservoir parameters and observe the response variable, which is 365 cumulative oil, and they normalize the lateral length. They also come up with 18 completion designs and use artificial neural networks to develop what is the best completion design for the good quality wolf can't be rock versus a poor quality wolf can't be rock. I strongly suggest people to read this paper if you want to get a different approach into learning about optimal completion designs in a particular basin. The next paper I recommend everyone reading is SPE 204153 from Liberty Oil Field Services. This paper talks about how to reduce your placement of propent per pound downhole. They use a multivariate analysis on reservoir and completion parameters to see the drivers of well performance and to truly see if chemical additives are some of the key drivers to well performance. I strongly suggest that for multiple basins, you ought to read this paper. And I was focusing on the Midland Basin as far as looking at chemical additives and surfactants, but this is a great paper for a multi-basin study. If you have a background that overlaps, not just in the Permian Basin, but in other basins as well. 
The last paper I recommend everyone to read is SPE 204179, which is a Midland Basin case study on interzone and intrazone well-to-well -well interactions. I strongly recommend you read this paper if you have some assets in the Midland Basin and if you want to see how fracture dimensions or characterizing your fracture dimensions and pressure monitoring relates to production growth. Reveal Energy Services gives an in-depth presentation on the subject matter and goes through several completion sensitivities in a pad to come up with some of those findings as far as how fracture dimensions relate to production. And that's a wrap everyone on the five papers that I think people ought to read from the Hydraulic Fracturing Technology Conference or HFTC. There are obviously a lot more papers that I would suggest everyone ought to read, but I picked five out of the 61 papers that were presented at the conference. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe for more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Your comments have been extremely helpful for me in improving the presentation and the content of these videos. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Well, I hope to see you in the next video and I hope you have a splendid day.